days. Over again. I am not yet where I want to be. But I know I'll get there. It's not enough to hope to win one day. You've got to expect to win today. When you set a goal, there needs to be a sense of urgency. See, we don't have the courage, and that's what it takes, courage. It takes guts. Many times we'll move on you and make you act. Life will whoop your butt. I will do it. What do you want me to do? Take me. I'm gonna say, come catch me. Catch me if you can. If only I'd taken the chance. They didn't start a business. They didn't ask that crutch out for a date. They didn't travel. They had an opportunity at, at one point in their life to do something beyond play it safe. They chose not to do that, and now they regret it. Many of us don't do the things that we want to do and don't act because of lack of self-confidence. We don't believe enough in ourselves. Believe in everything that you are and understand that within you there's something greater than any obstacle you'll ever face. Have faith in your abilities. Work hard, never give up, and there's nothing you can't accomplish. It's all on you. If you fail, it's because you stopped running. If you fail, it's because you stop grinding. You stop caring. You stop working. You stop working for that dream that dangles in your face. The gift that God left you. Don't be the person that forgets to open your gift. Because that dream has everything you need in it. That dream is the road that will lead to your paradise. Regret hurts. There's no question about that. But here's the thing. Regret also instructs. And you can't have one without the other. So if you avoid the pain, you don't get any of the learning. So what you have to do is be able to process that pain. And I think there's a way for us to do that, to take our regrets, use them as signals. You, my friends, are going to get there. You are going to get that promotion. You are going to complete that marathon and you are going to run for your life. Not only can you create your life, you can recreate it. Because in order to begin to reinvent your life, you've got to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort that you really have got to put all of yourself into it. There's nothing going to stop me. If you didn't make me, you can't break me. If you didn't make the sun come up, you can't stop me. If you didn't make the moon shine at night, you can't stop me. My purpose, my will, my dedication, my motivation is all about doing the business because guess what, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm about. I'm about that business. I'm about that life. What are you about? Discipline sounds hard, but it's only hard when you don't want the reward bad enough. When you want something bad enough, you will wake up early. When you want something bad enough, you will pass on hanging out with your friends. When you want something bad enough, you will not back down. You don't have to prove anything to anyone but yourself. You'll begin to discover some things about you that you don't know you've got. Start waiting for your dreams. Run towards your dream. Because the moment you stop running, the moment you stop fighting, is the day you will lose it. Don't wait for it. Continue to fight. Continue to chase of what you truly want out of your life. Today is here. Today you're breathing. Today is your opportunity. Work like hell. Crack the ground and keep moving. Make the ground shake. Crack the world. Get it going. Don't let nothing.
nothing stop you. When the rest of the world shuts you down, you got to be the one to stand up, shout out, cry out, stand tall, work hard, dig deep, and go after it. Day one or one day, you decide. I look back sometimes at moments of regrets in my past. I wish I had made better decisions in my life. I truly do. If only I had pushed just a little bit more, did a little bit better, just an inch, just a fraction of an inch is all I needed to give. I know, ladies and gentlemen, there are moments in your life you've experienced it too. You didn't rise up to the challenge when, when it called for you. You didn't rise up to the challenge because you were afraid of it. We need to understand how to deal with our negative emotions. We can't ignore them like no regrets. We can't wallow in them like, oh my God, it's so terrible, I'm such an awful person. So among the misunderstandings are, we think that when we experience regret, it's somehow an aberration when in fact, everybody experiences regret. Regret makes us human. Regret is part of the human condition. What's more, we think that regret makes us weaker when in fact, the research shows that done right, regret can make us stronger, that we can enlist our regrets as a, an engine for forward progress. What's a winner's mentality, you ask? It means being focused on yourself and not other people. It means having desire. It means wanting it willingness to work for it you simply have to give it everything you have to get it the one thing that you must understand is that you don't get any do-overs once your day ends that's it so what action do you need to commit to taking today this is for the dreamers the dreamers that cannot sleep the dreams, they run away from us when we're running our fastest. We will not be last. We will meet our dreams in our paradise. We will marry our dreams. We will hold them tight to our hearts. And we will make them ours. Make them ours forever. Come here, dreams. I'm chasing. So you're better off just making decisions for fundamental reasons, doing things you care about that are meaningful and that contribute, and, and being alert to opportunity along the way, recognizing that the path is not a path, it's the opposite of a line. It's a messy, three-dimensional squiggle. I need to constantly remind myself I'm not yet where I want to be, but I know I'll get there.